here today to do cloudy is today we are doing um, our proposal story as most of you know we are engaged to be married and we thought it'd be fun to do a video to let you know how that happened mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so in our fiance tag video we already told you how we met so I'll link that below I'll put the link to that below so you can watch that video find that find out how we met but before we tell you exactly how it is that we got engaged in the actual proposal story I think we should go back a little bit to yes <laughs> I think we should go back to when we very very first met <laughs> yes you know I'm gonna tell this story all right Michael and I had uh, we were on our second date, our second date, and I can't remember where it was that we went. Where was that? P.F. Chang's, I think? Or we gone to dinner or something, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think we had uh, gone to dinner. And after that, uh, neither of us wanted the date to end, and the restaurant is right next to uh, a mall. So he said, do you want to just go in and walk around, and, you know, a little bit, do some window shopping? Because we wanted to continue spending time together and talking and getting to know each other. So like I said, it's our second date. So I said, sure, okay. So, <laughs> so we went into the mall, and I'm going to let you take it from here. Tell everybody what you did, Michael. <laughs> I was just joking around. And, you know, I, and I know this might sound a little crazy to be joking around kind of thing but um, I had told the lady behind no, you had to tell them where we went oh uh, we went to uh, a ring uh, a jewelry store a jewelry, to a jewelry store. store a jewelry okay? store keep, and she's just, now, I have to keep I have to like I'm sorry to interrupt you but I have to make sure that everybody realizes how important this part is it's our second <laughs> date that's very important to remember while you're listening to this part of the story. I okay. know. It, it's, it, is, it is crazy. It is crazy. And I really didn't. I meant it as kind of a joke. You know, and, you know just kind of playing around. Just just to see, just a reaction type of thing. And, and just kind of, and I, I know it might have been a little too crazy. But I told the lady behind the counter, because she was a little bit further down. And uh, I said, go, go ask her. Um, Go show her some engagement rings like that. She goes, oh, okay. Now, she knew that I was kind of just playing around in a way with her, you know. So, she, she wound up going down. and The and, lady at the store. The lady at the that. store. And she was looking at engagement rings. She was down there looking around. But, and but I said, ladies, well, I, was, I was in a jewelry <laughs> store. What is the first thing we go look at? Ladies, when you go into a jewelry store i mean you look at engagement rings earrings i mean you just walk around i was just walking around browsing around he was looking at watches or so i thought <laughs> and i was walking around looking at what i was interested in so, so go ahead so you know so she just kind of she's looking at him and uh i said so i said which one do you like and she was just kind of like i caught her in a like a uh well, that one's nice. I said, cool, can we see that? She was, and the lady was kind of like, she, she knew I was playing around, so she kind of like started bringing it up, and, and she was just kind of like. I was just, I was stunned. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know this man. I just met him two weeks ago, and he's talking about here, put this ring on. And I don't want to be rude because I'm just getting to know him. I want to make a good impression, so I'm like, uh, okay. And I just put it on, and I started putting on more rings. And <laughs> but she didn't mind them because she was actually going, oh, "I like this better than this one. And this one is nicer." And uh, and now that and then because we had gotten on the conversation, I don't know if it was before or after that. And she was like, "Oh, I want so many carrots, and it's got to be this many. It's got to be at least what was it?" She said, uh, "I think I said five carrots or seven least, carrots, yeah. something crazy." She goes, "At least five or seven." <laughs> I'm just like kind of laughing at her. She goes, "No, I'm serious." I mean, she was like dead on serious. Like, I am not even going to talk to you. I'm not even saying yes unless you pull out at least five carrots. I'm thinking to myself. I said, "You know what? Five carrots is five carrots is like over a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars." <laughs> I said, I'm not spending $200,000 on a ring unless I hit the lotto. There is no way. But, <clears throat> the, 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 the say that, go get the ring that I gave you. I think it was the second or third date. Oh, yeah, I'll go get that. Be right back. Right back. Okay. I had made, when we were at the, we were at the place where we met, we wound up going there. And 
I asked the lady behind the bar if she had any twist ties. So I'm like just kind of playing around with the twist ties and I wind up, I don't know if you can see this, but I made this ring out of twist ties for her. Like you know those little garbage bag ties? Yeah. And it's a, it's a little ring. He made that for me. It's a little ring and, and I put it on her finger. Yeah, I put it on my finger. I put it on her finger and I said, well look, I said, isn't that nice? And she wind up, she didn't take it off all oh, night. <laughs> she left that thing on there. And then on our one year anniversary, I made this one, <laughs> which was bigger. Yeah, this one. It's bigger, a bigger diamond, because of course she wanted something that was five carats or more. I guess this was the lonely one carat. She could, this is the big five. I don't know. Oh my but God. these are the two. But she put that thing on and she had no problems leaving that on the rest of the night. <laughs> I should take it home and she still has I them. still have those three three years later. So all right now we're we're moving away from the original story. Let's get back to the 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 jewelry store and your behavior at that jewelry store. Let's get back to that, shall we? <laughs> well, I mean it you know, she tried one and then you know and then we left and and But what what I wanna ask you is that was a really risky move. You didn't know me. How did you know that I wasn't just going to run screaming in the other direction? That was crazy to do that with somebody you don't even know. I don't know. You didn't know, know me? I don't know. That was the first time I ever did that, too. I mean, I've never was done it? that with anybody. I've never even really, I've never in, looked engagement rings unless I was serious about the person. But it was the first time I ever did that with you. I don't know. You just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, was, I was so, I wanted to just... I don't know, I can't say push the issue, but I was a little aggressive with the situation, I guess you could say. He was, and like I said at the beginning of the video, mm -hmm. this was our second date. I had only known this man for two weeks at this point. Yeah. All right, so we were dating for, <coughs> excuse me, we were dating for, um, I don't know, how long were we dating before we started looking at engagement rings for real? Like maybe eight months or nine months? Yeah. So we yeah, really started going yeah, around we started, looking, going we to started, stores. We started, and, because well, we knew, we knew <coughs> this is this is serious and we're going to get married. Yeah. So we, we better start looking for rings for real so yeah. I can find out what Especially I want. Especially what her, her little situation was. What's yeah. my little oh. situation? <laughs> she couldn't make her mind up for anything. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, I mean, she wanted this type of ring and had to be this cut, which is fine. Okay. But then she changed her mind on the cut four times. <laughs> And then she sat there and said, I don't want a diamond anymore. I want a sapphire. I want a pink sapphire. Okay. We went through, I went through, God is what, trying to find this pink sapphire. And then she went back to, now I want a diamond. <laughs> With a totally different shape. <laughs> it was difficult because <sighs> when, I mean, I've never been engaged before. I've never tried on engagement rings. So I always just kind of went by what I saw in magazines and what I saw people wearing. Oh, that seems nice. I always thought, okay, I'll get a princess cut because that seems nice. But then when I actually tried it on, it didn't look right on my hand. I didn't like that. It looks nice on other people, but it's not right for me. So that was out. We tried on, um, oh gosh, what else? I can't because remember. You tried round, we tried oval, right, princess round, cut. Princess, um, um, I think we tried on the marquee cut, I think. A whole bunch of different ones. Everything. And, you know, it just has to be right for you. And that's a good tip for people who are possibly going to be getting engaged soon. Really try them on and be open to something that you may not have considered before. Because I never, I have an oval ring. My ring is oval. I have never, ever considered oval. I was always more into square diamonds, Asher cuts, uh, you know, princess cuts, things along that nature. Emerald because cuts. Emerald cuts, things that were more square. I never even thought about anything round or oval because I just didn't particularly care for those. But when I tried this on, it was amazing. So just be open-minded. Something that you think you may like or may not like, just give it a try. Try everything because you never know. You really never know. Yeah. So, and, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. And that ring right there is something that, it's not, she didn't put it on and like it. No. I got that thing. Well, That's custom made. It is custom made, but I it's, tried on There's only that one was, ring yes. in the world. That's the only ring that it is. You can't go to another jewelry store and say, I want like one just like this. It, they don't have them. <laughs> I wind up buying uh, the setting from the jeweler, from a, a guy that just came around and do shows. And then I wind up going through God knows how many people to find the diamond itself. It had to be the perfect diamond 
for that setting, clarity, color, everything. And I went through so many of them. Finally found the right one, the one that's just perfect. And and then got it set and done up. I mean, it's literally now, the... Now, yeah. did you do that because you were super particular about it or because you knew I was going to be super particular no, about it? I, no, no, no. I, was, I, I, I wanted it to be perfect. But also, I knew that you wanted it to be perfect. So why get garbage or got something that's okay? You know, and then you're like, oh, it's nice, you know, <laughs> and not be happy with it. So, yeah, we looked at all these rings and wanted him to wait at least one year before he proposed to me. Because I figured a year is enough time so that we both know that we're really, really short. And it's just an appropriate amount of time. So I figured a year is good. Now, we ended up actually getting engaged after a year and a half, 18 months. That's because he sat on my ring, sat on my ring for four months. Yeah. I had to find a perfect way of, of proposing because, God forbid, <laughs> I would have asked her the wrong way. There is no wrong way, yeah. is there? I if know. I would have taken you out to dinner and sat there and asked you, you would have been like, wah, wah. I would have so you accepted. Like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> and I wind up, I mean, it was, it was like I was going to do it on a hot air balloon. You know, we were going to go out in a hot air balloon and do that. But I couldn't find one that was just for couples. Right. And the ones that did were couples. They were so expensive. So, expensive. so we wind up going and uh, I rented a cabin up in the mountains. And um, just a small little cozy cabin. It was nice. Yeah, it was, it was so nice. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. It was up in the mountains and um, we packed it had like a little kitchen and everything so we packed you know all of our own food we brought lobsters and steaks and bottles of wine and i mean we went up there for romance we were prepared we had candles and like everything we were ready yeah and then i went up there and uh you know we had eaten um that night we, you know we just got finished eating and i wound up going outside i got some firewood started a fire in the fireplace and uh and we wind up sitting down. They had a nice leather couch. We were sitting down, relaxing. And they had a TV. We had put we um put the um we love Sade, and we had this Sade concert DVD from. It was actually the first concert we ever went to when we first started dating. And when it came on a DVD, we bought it. So we took that to the cabin, and we were watching it. It was just a DVD of the concert. So we're watching it, and he uh, a song came on, and he said, "You want to dance?" And I said, yeah, let's dance. So we started dancing. Started dancing. And <clears throat> about halfway through the song, <laughs> I, I'm trying to push her back so I can kneel down. Yeah. And every was, time I'm like pushing her back, she kept coming forward. Yeah, because we're dancing and, I, and, I'm like, and he's trying to push me away. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm trying to like step, go backwards so I can get down on one knee. And she kept, and I'm starting to get a little frustrated because this is like the third or fourth time. I'm kind of like ready to go. <laughs> So I stand right there. And she, I finally got back, and then I went down on one knee, and and I told her how much I loved her, and 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 uh, and pulled out the ring, and, <laughs> and and I and I asked her to marry me, and she just kept saying, "Say it again, say it again," and I'm not joking. I proposed to her about four, four or five, times. four or five times. She just kept saying, "Say it again." Say it again, and it was. You waited a long time to hear those words, so I wanted yeah. to hear it several times. Yes, <laughs> it, of course she said yes, and then, uh, you know, I put the ring on it, and, and and the first thing, boom, first, on the phone. yeah, first thing I did, I said, um, you know, I put it on, I, you know, jumped around the room for a couple minutes, and you know, went into the bathroom and looked at it, and walked all around looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. had to look at it in every kind of light in the place and make because sure. it wasn't daytime so she was, <laughs> it was like frustrated nice. <laughs> because she couldn't see it in the day as soon as the day came boy she jumped out of bed put that on went outside on her little balcony and she was <laughs> see how the light hits it like this and, and like the prism and, and well, I'm just going yesterday I see I've been seeing it for four months now but the first thing I did after we got engaged after I did all that stuff <laughs> I said I looked at him and I said Oh, yeah. I was like, your mom already knows. And I was like, what? She knows. So I called her. And she had actually called us when we were on our way um, driving up to the cabin. And we were just talking about normal things. So I called her up after we got engaged. And, you know, she says, hello. And I said, mom, 
And she said, yes. I said, I just got engaged. And she said, I know. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean you know? She said, Michael called me and asked me for my permission this morning. And I said, you, you knew all this time even when we were talking on the phone earlier? And she said, yes, of course I knew. And I said, well, are you excited? She said, yes, it's about time. <laughs> I know, that's what her mother said there. And I called her and asked for her permission. And she goes, well, it's about time. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I had to find the right way, and then, and, but I didn't want to call her mother too soon because I didn't want her mother to get all excited and throw some hints out to her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this weekend's going to be an exciting weekend. Right? And then she'd be like, hmm, what's going on? Because that's how she would be. She would just, things start turning. Yeah, the wheels start turning like, hmm, what yeah, is going yeah. and on? And then it wouldn't be a surprise. Yeah. So we wind up the next day, we wind up going out. And we went antique to little, shopping, which is yeah. something we like to do. Well, that's mostly what he was doing. I, for the whole rest of that weekend, was like staring at my hand. I wasn't doing anything but that for the rest of that whole weekend. Staring at my hand, sending out text messages, calling people. That's mostly no, He's taking all sorts of pictures of uh, it. Yep. <laughs> Put on Facebook, sending out to people. <laughs> <laughs> Does this look better? Yeah, this one. You know. But see, how how good did that make you feel? I mean, like you sat on this ring for four months. So, you know, you had known me for eighteen months at this point. I mean, how good did you feel to finally have it on my finger? Oh, it felt great. Were you if, like Were you like relieved? Did you yeah, because it, it just felt like everything was was. I don't know how to explain it. It it just felt like the like the circle started and now we're halfway there mm -hmm. you know and now when we get married the circle will be complete you know so it was almost like that next big step and it was just like Phew. now that's done you know mm -hmm. let's, let's get moving because you know everybody's saying oh this is my boyfriend or this is my girlfriend you know and it's like and michael doesn't believe in that stuff <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I believe in that no stuff. i mean Michael is a firm believer if you're with someone and you want them then just move forward like dating for years he just he don't yeah, I don't know how to believe in all that you know if, if you really love that person you really want to spend the rest of your life with them marry him you know why why not why would you sit here and say oh I just want to date you but why you know if you really want to just date somebody for a long time well then just have an open relationship so you can see other people because you're really deep down inside not that serious. You know that's how I look at things because if I really don't want to be with you deep down inside, I'm not going to propose to you and I'm definitely not going to marry you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to date you until I feel like the next person that really comes along. So that way I have no real ties. A breakup is just like hey, it's not working out. And then, you know, she'll get over it in about six months, and I'll get over it in about six months, and I get to move on to the person I really think. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, that's how I feel. If you really know that this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with, then marry her. What is the problem with, oh, uh, I, I just want to, or the engagements for 10, 15 years. <laughs> I don't, I, I mean, unless you're really saving up for a $200,000 wedding. You just wanted to make sure that nobody else got me. They ain't going straight. <laughs> they ain't going straight. You wanted to make sure nobody else got nobody me. Nobody was going to get you. How do you know? Oh. We were just boyfriend and girlfriend. How do you know? Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, goodness. What happened after we got engaged? We were kind of dragging our feet for a little while, trying to yeah. come up with our venue and all that. And, yeah. You know, we got our venue and started the ball rolling with the wedding, and now the wedding is five months away. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we waited. We waited probably six months. So don't. We don't recommend that at all. If you are engaged, newly engaged, or you are about to get engaged, pick your venue as soon as possible. That was one big mistake that we made. We didn't pick our venue right away, and then when we finally did find one that we could both agree on and really liked, it wasn't available for a year and a half. So, don't do that. Pick your venue immediately. Right. <laughs> yeah, getting married in five months. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> I mean, you never know what happens after that. Yay. Oh, 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 what are oh. you talking about? Like, oh, oh. Like, like what? Little, little Michaels? <laughs>
little Shelley's. Oh. Mm. You never know. Stop it. <laughs> oh, stop it. Slow down. Slow down. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's all, from, from the beginning, he's always trying to make things go faster than normal. It's, I'm just predicting what's going to already happen. It's like, you know, I already know what's going to happen. <laughs> we'll see now. Oh, all right. But anyway, that is um, our proposal story for anyone who was interested in hearing how we got engaged. We hope you enjoyed this video. We thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in our next video. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.